Hi there everyone, welcome to iPad Essential. In this video, I'll be talking about how you can elevate your iPad productivity by connecting this to external monitor. And actually, we will be talking about two methods of connecting this iPad to external monitor. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so here you can see I am using my recently bought this Logitech Pebble keyboard. So if you want to know more about this setup, then do check out the video that I have added in the description of this one. Now let me press start button and it's going to unlock my iPad. And there we go. The easiest method of connecting your iPad to external display. Let's say you are also using MacBook or Apple computer for instance. Here you can see my Apple computer is also fired up. All I need to do is I need to make sure that both these devices are connected to the same network, which is true in this case, I have connected both to the same Wi-Fi router. Now, if I go here in my iPad screen and make it down here, I can see this option, which is mirrored. So if I hit on it, I can also see my Mac mini name here. So I simply need to click on it and there we go. And boom guys, here we can see I can project my iPad screen directly to my external display wirelessly and without any connection. All I need to make sure that I am running an uh, internet connection and both my iPad as well as Apple computer are connected to the same network. Now let's say you are also using multiple monitor. You do not want to project your iPad screen to this one, rather you want to do it in th that one. You can go here on the top and select another monitor. That's how we can switch it. Now, since this one have a higher resolution, so I'm going to choose this particular one. Okay. So now let me talk about my experience through this way. So let me put my iPad aside since now I can see uh, my iPad screen directly on my monitor. I can walk on it. Uh, for example, let me press this search button and type for word. Let's open it. And here we have got this keyboard, we have got this mouse and then I can use it, right? I can create a new document. And that's how we can quickly get started. So let me type here the quick brown box jumps over the lazy dog. So obviously I would say um, the experience of you are going to be better in bigger display. But here's the thing. There is a noticeable lag when I see this screen because probably um, we are connecting these both display through wirelessly or maybe uh, there is another layer um, because we are connecting OS to OS and that's how we are mirroring it. So. I would say the better one will be if I can directly use monitor. So in order to use your monitor directly with your iPad, all you need to do is maybe I'm going to plug uh, one, one such uh, type A adapter, one such uh, HDMI adapter from here. And let me actually put this, my another peripheral out. So this is type C to HDMI connector. Here you can see, you can have any one. This one is from Dell of my Precision laptop. Um, so all I want to say is it really doesn't matter, you know, whether it is, an, it is an Apple produced type C to HDMI connector or from any other manufacturer, like in this case, Dell. So now I'm going to simply connect my HDMI here and then I will be inserting this here and you will see the magic in the monitor. So here you can see simply connecting type C inside and it should be connected. Yep. So here you can see now my iPad have external display. Okay. Now again, uh, seems like I'm still connecting this display as well as this display. Um, this one I am connecting through my macbook so let me actually stop projecting my display to macbook so i'm gonna again go here and stop mirroring and this one is macbook this one is ipad os and this is how it looked and now i can feel the response of my mouse is much better now uh 
the only con I see when I use this external monitor with my iPad. Let's say I would like to open any uh, iPad app, for example, uh, yep, this one. So this is how this app will look like. And if I try to zoom it in or want to make it full screen, some app will go full screen, but other may not. Okay. So let me uh, minimize it or you see there is an option which is move to iPad. So as soon as I hit move to iPad, you will see that this app will now go to my iPad. So that's, that's great. Uh, but at the same time, let me open non-native app here and let's click here. Maybe what, what should I open? Uh, probably let's say I'm going to open this video editor. So this is this editor and let's, let's, and let's make it full screen. So this is the problem, you know, sometimes it does not go full screen and this is the, I would say, uh, the, the size. Let me again close it. And this is probably my iPad store that goes full screen, that's great. But as I was mentioning, um, other apps that are non-native, they sometimes don't go full screen. Uh, similarly, let's say I would like to open this setting app, this is also not going full screen. But this Adobe Rush, this is full screen. But since the, most of these apps are optimized for touch based interface, despite I have keyboard and mouse, I am not able to utilize these video editor efficiently despite having external monitor. So this is, I would say, you know, kind of con. But obviously, let's say, uh, again, I'm going to press this. I'm going to open Microsoft Word, for instance. It runs full screen and it is really a uh, more enjoyable experience, I would say. And then um, let me keep it aside. And here, you know, you see, this is how the whole setup look like. A very small, minimal setup. And that is being run by this iPad. So your iPad is powerful device. But still, I think in, in certain way, um, the iPad OS kind of limit the power of this hardware. So uh, I, I really didn't like the way, you know, how this minimum and maximum work. I mean, when we compare, let's say, you know, here on the side, we have got this Okay, so in comparison, here we can see this is how you going to click first on these three dots and then you have option to minimize it or move to iPad. Okay, and then um, when we talk about MacBook, here we have all these three options and you can, you know, easily minimize it or you can close it. But in case of iPad, I would say it is slightly challenging and the way uh, I would say the feedback of mouse is it is not that great I would say. Now you can do so many things here. Um, so right now it is in extend mode. Let's say uh, you want to just mirror your iPad screen to your monitor that is also doable. So you need to go here and then um, maybe I guess I need to search for display yeah and here we can also arrange how we would like to arrange just like we you know configure multi-monitor setup and then as i was mentioning we can use this external monitor as extended display or we can mirror our ipad screen as well so it is totally up to us how we would like to use it so in this way guys, we discussed the two different methods of connecting your iPad to external display. Either you can, you know, mirror your display to let's say MacBook, the way we did, or you can connect external display and then um, use these USB Type-C to HDMI connectors. 
So that's all guys from my side in this video. I hope that you find this video helpful and informational. If so, then please do like and subscribe to iPad Essential for more such iPad productivity related tips and tricks. And I will catch you soon with one such another video. Till then, you take care and bye-bye.